in memory. Cynthia, come on with it. Oh, come on with it. Well, see, I have two memories. The first one is the night we got named. Remember, they took over the radio station yes, yes. and they called everybody out to the block and we all went flying out there in the middle of the morning. And then the other memory was the bodies. Remember that day they put all the bodies out in the woods? But it was that the Project High was the one that. Ben. <laughs> this one is a sentimental story. I was standing in line in Virginia Cleveland Hall on the first day of class trying to get the keys. It was like 95 degrees with 90% humidity. Thank God Afro's been inside. <laughs> Me and my big mouth, I said, and, and we're all standing up there like, oh God, we're scared to death. So I said, is anybody in this line from Washington, D.C.? Cynthia Newsom said, I am. <laughs> Come to find out, our parents worked together at the Navy Annex, and Cynthia and I were born on the same day. <laughs> and we've been friends. Listening to everybody, that memory just came to me. And I just thought, like, you know, shit. I saw uh, David Washington creep to the mic, uh, so I'm going to have to ask you. Bring it. I was trying to get no, it. come on, man. No, no, man. Come on. Bring it. Come on, David. <laughs> I was actually talking to somebody. So I, know. I, don't know what yeah, I want you to tell me what is your funniest memory at Hampton? Oh, wow. Funniest. Your funniest memory. Ooh. That's a tough one. Cause actually the fun. Is this one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, let me see who's in here before I tell this. Well, I think. The 
the funniest thing that I, I can talk about is during uh, the pledge period, uh, pledge of five, eight, and six, and we needed to get these bricks. <laughs> right. And we needed to get bricks that were perfect, right. no chips, cracks, none of that stuff, you know? And the easiest way to get them that would be brand new would look like that would be the construction site. And we saw a spot where they were, you know, we didn't have no money in hand, you know? Well, I, all four years, I never drove a car except for barter for somebody, you know? But, so we, we went to this place where they were building this, uh, a house. Right. And they had these stacks of bricks. And it was myself, my buddy here, and some other people that are in the room that are hiding. You know, well, Dave Gibson and myself, we were the ones that were running the bricks to the tr John Fisher's trunk. <laughs> you know, and then Charles Johnson was the next one to pull up. You know, once we get a load, you know, because we get, to get we have to get enough for the display on the right. out the circle, and uh, somebody called the cops, and so they get to myself were back behind these bricks, laying on the ground, <laughs> out of sight, but it was a, a what do you call it, canine unit, <laughs> canine unit. Um, Police, and you know, you can hear the dog barking in the back. He was all caged in and everything, and they were shining the spotlight right. on where the bricks were. And I was vibrating, panic. Country boy back here, it was very cool. Said, just stay still, just stay still. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to clock the dog with bricks. And then explain to my family why I'm in jail. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe he just didn't see anything and he went on about his business and everything was fine, but I didn't necessarily have to be here. I'm talking about as a Hanson graduate, <laughs> as a result of it. I mean, it would have just been two years and not even two completed years. <laughs> yeah, so. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before we close this out, uh, anyone else? I want to give everybody an equal opportunity. Anyone else? Oh, uh, Michael. Michael Silver. Okay. Silver. Yeah. Mike's got his hand up. Silver. Anybody else? Oh, Deb. Come on, come on, Mike. All right, Mike. And we're gonna get Deb. Okay. Come on, Mike. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Everybody remembers, but uh, our freshman year, the, fun, the fondest memory I had was the fact that uh, the freshman class. Uh, Knocked out the uh, roof I grew with a uh, flag football who we underpeated. an unwanted visitor who would continually come to our room all times of day and interrupt <laughs> our study. So what I decided, since I was a math major, I decided I was going to balance a bucket of water Whoa. on top of this door. And when she came in, the water would fall on her head. So I balanced the water. I didn't really realize how mean it was. <laughs> Our floor. I think it might have been one of the twins, Diane or Joanne, came in and the water fell, but it didn't fall on them. So I rebalanced it and then the person who came in was Migdalet and the water fell directly on her head. But unfortunately, she had just come from the head. Oh. day, flying in from Miami, Florida. There were about six or seven of us on an airplane. And first, Kathy White, no, Jan Laurie started crying. Then Kathy White started crying. <laughs> then Laura Wilcox started crying. Everybody on the airplane was crying. We had all these girls come, you were too crying. You were crying in there. That's the first one. That's the problem. I mean, we've been friends ever since, but everybody cried on the airplane. They didn't know what was going on. All these black girls on the airplane. 
The next memory was um, psych majors. You know, we're very, we're very good people, psych majors. Well, the last party, psych majors raise your hand. The last party of the season was given by a department head. Well, we go to this party. Oh, yes. And the department head was smoking marijuana. <laughs> catalog she brought, and on the front of the catalog, 
was a fishing boat going by. And, um, and at that point, at that moment, I decided to come to him. So 40 years later, that's how I got here, a picture. Now, you asked about a picture about the boat. What was significant about the picture was that my dad was a commercial fisherman. And it was a boat, literally, like his that was on front of the camping catalog. So that's how I got to him. Wow. No, Archie and I was dead on arrivals in the county. He thought he was number one, but I, I let him be that sometimes, you know. But how I got to Hampton was I had been accepted to, I think, Tuskegee and Fisk in Hampton. And my mom had been pressuring me, pick a school, pick, pick a school. So she sent me to the grocery store, and I was standing in line waiting to cash out, and I heard some ladies go, Oh, I heard Hampton's the party school. I went right over. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Yay! That's how I got here. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, you guys have been great. Certainly hang around. We're going to be here for a bit. Uh, mingling. Anyone else wanted to uh, come up to the mic, feel free. Had a great time. Make sure tomorrow, noon, Pitcher, Hampton, Ogden Hall, Circle, we'll be there. I promise you this time, you will get your class photo on time. Uh, we, we, we dropped the ball for a number of reasons, but we saw it. We will get that done. Two o'clock class meeting, and if you haven't gone online, made a contribution, or gift to Hampton, please, please do that. If it's five dollars, five thousand, ten thousand, I don't care. Go online between now and our two o'clock meeting and make a donation, make a gift to the university. Hampton has been a great school for all of us. Uh, you know, I, I can tell you, I travel all over the world, and you would be surprised at the number of people that as soon as I mention it, they, make, they have a reference automatically to Hampton. So that says that there's some things that are being done right here, and when I look at what's happened to other HBCUs over the past 10 years, you know, we have a lot to be thankful for. And the only way that that continues is that we make sure that that continues. That we encourage our classmates, some, you know, who, for whatever reason, uh, decided not to ever <laughs> come back to Hampton for whatever reason. But we need to still reach out to our classmates and encourage them to give to the university. Um, it's, it's, it's a, lot, a lot has been accomplished, but there's much more to be accomplished, and we want to see some of our grandkids uh, show up here one day. Okay? Hey, right great. Thanks. All right. Right on.